Hi there, this is Tiffany with the You Can Book Me customer team. Here's a quick demo on how You Can Book Me can work for your team. I'll highlight what the product is, who it's for, how to connect your team, and a brief look at the settings. What is You Can Book Me? We are an online application that helps you streamline scheduling for your team. You can connect your calendar or your team's calendar to a public facing appointment page where you can take bookings. It automatically syncs with the connected calendars, offering up only time where your team is free to take meetings or calls with clients. No more back and forth emails and phone calls finding a time to meet or rescheduling existing appointments. We're saving you all that time. Under the hood, you'll find features like automated notifications, appointment types, group bookings, and nearly unlimited customization to match your brand. You Can Book Me can truly fit into any booking scenario. Who uses You Can Book Me? Any team that needs to take bookings. From sales teams to support and customer success, recruiting, UX research, universities, primary schools, and even startups. How does it work? As the organization owner, you'll invite your team to join your account. They'll share their preferred calendar for bookings, Google or Microsoft, along with their optional Zoom credentials. You can set team member account access levels ranging from minimal as contributor to administrator. Connect team members to booking pages with our Teams feature, customize other settings like email copy and availability, and then publish the booking page or embed it in your website. And that's it, the bookings will start rolling in. Let's take a live look. Let's say I'm a sales manager for a software company and I'm looking for a way for my team to increase their sales conversations by booking demos for people who are visiting our website. After creating my You Can Book Me account, I'm going to invite my sales team to join me. This will allow them to share their calendars directly with my You Can Book Me account. They'll also have the ability to share their unique Zoom cred credentials because in this case, their demos are taking place on Zoom. Once the team has joined my account, I have the ability to adjust their access to the account. Everyone initially joins as a contributor, which means they're sharing their integrations, but they can't make any edits. An editor can make changes to the booking pages that have been assigned to them, and an administrator has the ability to view and edit all booking pages on the account. In this case, I've made Joe an administrator so he can help me with account setup. Now I'm going to create a group booking page. This will allow multiple people on my team to connect their calendars and for them to take bookings directly in their calendar based on their own availability. I'll start by setting a booking page title, the subdomain of the booking page URL, and adding our company logo. Now let's take a look at some of the settings you can customize on your booking page. The booking page title and the URL can be changed at any time and you can also set a booking page intro. Under Calendar and Teams, I'm going to add all of the sales team members to this page. For each team member I add, I'll enter their name, their email, and select from the drop-down the calendar where they want to take bookings. I'm also setting up a Zoom link integration so each team member will have a unique Zoom link generated from their Zoom account. Finally, you also have the option to upload a picture of a team member, which can also be used in your notifications. Under Calendar and Teams, I can choose to set no preference, so all of the availability of the team members is pooled together, giving the customer the widest selection of times possible. If I want to allow the customer to select the person they'd like to meet with, I would uncheck Assume No Preference. I can always include a No Preference option. So that's really the core functionality of this team booking page, the ability to pool availability together and allow multiple people to take bookings on the same booking page. If both Tim and Mia are available at the same time, they would both receive a booking at that time. And if a team member has a busy event already on their calendar, that time would not be available for them to take a booking. The other core piece is availability. By default, You Can Book Me will check your team members' calendars during the set 
standard working schedule you set under availability. Between these hours, you can book me will pull in the free time from all of the team members' calendars. Each team member can manage their availability by adding busy events during the times or days they don't want to be available for booking. Joe has just added a busy event to his calendar on Friday, and he's no longer available for booking on Friday. This method of repeating availability allows for the most options for the booker when the team wants to fill their calendars with calls from clients. If you want to give your team more control over the times offered to clients, you can use custom availability. Custom availability is more of a calendar managed availability. Each team member will indicate the hours exactly when they want to receive bookings by adding a key phrase to their calendar. The key phrase is set here in You Can Book Me. For example, on my page, I'm setting it as sales calls. Now each team member will go onto their calendar and add blocks of time when they are available to take bookings for these sales calls. We've got Joe up first, he's adding bookings slots now. So if we take a look at Joe's Google Calendar, he's added three blocks of time in the week where he's available. So only these times will show for booking. When all of the team has added availability to their calendar, you can come back to You Can Book Me and refresh the preview and that time will show for booking. The cool thing about setting up your booking page this way is that the availability is managed directly on the calendar. Each team member can add or remove availability on the fly just by adjusting those events. Let's imagine my software company has an all day team building event on Thursday. All the team members have to do is remove their custom availability event from their calendars. We just saw Joe delete his on Thursday and now here's Timothy deleting his. Let's assume the rest of the team deleted theirs as well. If we refresh the preview here and you can book me, we can check and see that next Thursday, the 4th is no longer available for booking. So using custom availability really gives your team complete control over their availability without the need of ever having to log in to You Can Book Me. My sales team offers different types of appointments of different lengths, discovery calls, full demos, and kickoff calls after the sale has been made. So in this case, I'm going to use appointment types. So when the customer comes to the booking page, they can select the type of call they are interested in. It will also help my team know what to prepare for before the call starts. The booking form allows you to build out any questions you need to ask of your clients before they confirm the appointment. This could be as simple as contact information, such as a phone number, or you can add a multiple choice question. In this case, I'm going to add a multiple choice asking the client what type of operating system they are currently on. It could also be, for example, the timeline of their purchase. You can add additional question types such as pass through or hidden questions to track the source of your leads. Questions can be marked as required, reordered on the form or renamed in a way that makes sense for your team. Each question on the booking form has a variable called a shorthand code that pulls in the client's information through the booking process giving you the ability to personalize the booking experience for each of your clients. The automation continues in our notifications workflow, where different emails can be triggered to the team member or the client based on the action being taken with the booking, including reminders before the start of the meeting or follow-up emails after. Let's take a look at the confirmation email to the booker. The email can be sent from the team member who received the booking, any replies to this email confirmation will go straight to that team member. The email subject line and the email content can be customized to the client using shorthand codes that were set on the booking form. All of the text in the email can also be customized in any language. We also provide cancel and reschedule links so the client can manage their own bookings without having to make a phone call to you. If you are meeting on Zoom or Google Meet, you can add those shorthand codes to the confirmation and reminder emails so your clients know exactly how they will meet with the team member that was booked. We also allow for conditional statements to further customize the booking experience. 
For example, if a certain team member is booked, that information can display in the email. Or if a specific appointment type is booked, only certain information can display. In this case, I've added a conditional statement that if my discovery call appointment type is booked, I'll have a certain sentence that displays in the email. You can also set up optional SMS messages if you're collecting a phone number on the booking page. These are set up outside of your subscription costs. They can be sent as a confirmation message or as a reminder before the booking. You can set up additional notifications to anyone else on the team, like into your general sales inbox or to the team lead or even into a Slack channel email. Outside of team booking pages, you can also build out specific pages for the reps on your team. This would be customized to each person individually and linked to just their calendar. This gives them a more personalized link to share with their book of business. Once you've created the template in You Can Book Me, you can easily duplicate the booking page and swap out the team member for everyone on the team. Once you have your booking pages set up the way you need them, you can access and bookmark the URL by clicking Live Booking Page. You can also choose to embed the booking page in your own website for further customizations and tracking. With our integration with Zapier, you can take your booking data and send it into thousands of other apps, including CRMs like HubSpot, ActiveCampaign, and services like MailChimp and Slack. You Can Book Me is flexible to fit into your workflow, whatever that may be. So how much does all this functionality cost? You Can Book Me is $10 per month per calendar. We also offer discounts for 12-month and 24-month commitments as well. On my team of five, we're looking at an investment of $50 a month. And that really is a small investment if you think about all the time your team will save. We estimate each booking received through You Can Book Me represents a time savings of 10 minutes. That time saved gives your team time to do more, talk to more customers and make more sales instead of spending time on emails and finding a time to meet. If you're ready to streamline scheduling for your team, start a free trial now. You'll have two weeks to invite your team and set up your booking pages to fit your needs and test things out. Make sure You Can Book Me is the right solution for you before you commit. While you're in your account, you can reach out to our support team with any questions by clicking the Get Help button and submitting an email request. Or you can visit our knowledge base at support.youcanbook.me.